Good afternoon, East Grand Rapids. My name is Andy Blaine. I was lucky enough to come across a job posting for you guys where uh, I just wanted to say thanks for letting me create this short impromptu video. A uh, little bit about me. I've been a teacher of 11 years, uh, physical education and health both. Uh, I firmly believe that physical education is extremely unique in the fact that it can reach students in a, in a variety of ways, hands-on, uh, visual learners, kinesthetic learners, you know, verbal learners. So first and foremost, uh, everyone can learn in physical activity, regardless of their uh, their abilities, their their race, their culture, their background, anything. And I think that's important to understand that a healthy lifestyle really is something that is built in all of us. And it's just a matter of finding what things work, what things students enjoy. That they're not just active in their young life, but throughout their entire adult life as well. Uh, the biggest thing which I love about phys ed is that every day I hope to instill that students are making good choices, where it is fighting against the obesity epidemic uh, through a wide variety of activities, like I said. It could be sports skill related, it could be recreational uh, activities, uh, and I know East Grand Rapids and the community that you guys specifically have in your area, uh, it, is a, it is a big factor. You know, when I was growing up in Grand Rapids, I would always remember uh, bikers, runners, uh, very physical, active lifestyle type of community. I think that's something that I can definitely bring to the table for your students at East Grand Rapids Middle School. Uh, why I teach, like I said, it's, it is energetic. It, it is fun seeing kids find something that they're passionate about and doing those activities not just in school uh, but you know in, in their communities in their in their homes around their neighborhoods i think that's so important and again it's just it's a healthy lifestyle that they are trying to do that i'm trying to promote through the teaching of phys ed uh, where these students can learn and take these things home with them uh, why i teach was it was an influence of my old phys ed teacher gary vanderlin uh, I went to Creston High School and I, I saw how much fun that he had. He was hands-on, not only with myself, uh, he was my former swim coach, my phys ed teacher. He was hands-on with us. He did everything with us. He made it fun. Uh, I saw the passion on his face. I saw the passion really inside me grow with how interactive he was and how passionate he was. Uh, making sure that, that, that we were healthy, that we were, that we were moving, and he found different ways and different avenues to do that. Uh, a little bit about me, uh, why I am a phys ed teacher as well, I, I see the risk of, of cancer in my family. My parents are both survivors, my mom of breast cancer, my, da my dad of prostate cancer, my dad is a type 2 diabetic. So I think it's important to understand that when kids are making choices in terms of their physical activity, uh, it can have great benefits to why they are active. Uh, I, I currently tell my students who I teach, where I teach right now in middle school and high school, that any activity is better than no activity. Just for the fact that you're getting your heart up, you're getting your blood moving. Uh, you, could, you could pair that with success in a phys ed classroom. You could pair that with success in an English classroom because you have that cross-hemispheric blood flow where it improves test scores. So phys ed really is a unique uh, capsule on, on what I teach on, on a daily basis, Monday through Friday for, for a whole year. So it's, it's pretty, it's a great, it is a great job to be doing. Uh, jobs and reasons why I would stand out, hopefully to you guys, that you can see just in the video, I'm, I'm energetic, I'm passionate. Uh, I was highly effective rating in Grand Rapids Public Schools uh, in an urban setting where a lot of students had had issues with with motivation maybe they didn't have a great background on their on their health and their fitness lifestyles maybe they weren't exposed to different sports or recreation activities because they didn't have have the funding to do it or the equipment to do it so being able really to do those things for the past 11 years has has, has been a blessing uh, and a joy to see them on their their fitness journey and their health journey uh, also i'm pe and health certified uh, which i think is kind of goes hand in hand with physical education in the first place, not just knowing physical activities on what to draw students in to do, but the reason why. You know, you know, I talk about in my current classes in health, like why sleep is important, why water is important, why having a balanced diet is important. So uh, linking that and uh, having certain speakers coming in in my classroom currently is yet another thing that I think I do really well. I'm being uh, flexible, allowing certain people to come in. Uh, and elaborate on certain points of their health and how it can relate to their fitness levels. So those are things that I'm definitely passionate about uh, and 
I think are, are so vital to, to phys ed in the first place. And I, I think just being hands-on with students, you know, approaching the kinesthetic learning aspect, uh, visually, visual learners, they have to see things done depending on their abilities or their disabilities uh, so they can have success in and out of the classroom. I mean, that's, it's, it's an amazing capsule, like I said, where phys ed can reach a lot of students, hopefully in a healthy way, uh, and that's, that's why I teach. And it, it's fun seeing it when a student honestly makes that change in the, in the school, in the class, in their neighborhood, and their home. So I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.